Hi guys, welcome to my video. Um, I've been using this computer now for a little over four years. It's an Antec P100 case. Uh, I'm going to clean the filters out, give it a bit of a clean out inside. It's got a uh, GTX 1080 in it and uh, an i7 7700K. And I put this together when the 7700K came out. It's got an Asus motherboard. And there's actually a little fan in the back there. Um, you can just about see it's a little brown notch or one um, and it's got a Corsair power supply decent one and what we're going to do today we're going to put two new hard drives in it I've run out of uh, high drive space and I want to put a bit more uh, space in there so I can back up photos and things so I had a couple of choices I was going to go with the, um, the Crucial MX 500 so I've used them in the past and they've been pretty good but the cost of these Samsung drives have come down a bit and they're sort of in the same sort of cost now as the Crucial ones and I think they're fractionally better. So I've chosen to go with these Samsung ones instead. Okay, so the first thing is I need to take the, uh, the sides off the PC. Um, I might need extra cables from the power supply to power it and uh, extra uh, serial ATA cables, data cables to, uh, to plug them in. Okay, so I've taken both sides of the uh, case off so we can have a look what's inside I did upgrade the uh, cooler a little while ago um, it had the not to a, a U12 in it and I put this slightly better one in um, didn't make a great deal of difference but it is a little bit quieter this one that was the main uh, probably the main reason I changed it really um, we've already got two NVMe drives in it uh, they're a bit dusty as you can tell but they're Samsung 960 Evos, there's two of them. Originally I did raid the, the two together, um, but eventually I changed my mind. Uh, there was a problem with the bias on the motherboard at that moment in time when the uh, motherboard was really new. Uh, they didn't get fixed until a bit later on, so I couldn't be bothered to re-raid them after that. Um, that's the power supply. And we've also got a crucial driving there already at the bottom, which is a bit dusty. Just about to clean it all out and put the new drives above. Uh, we've got two big fans at the front and they're 140mm Noctua fans and they're going to keep the drives nice and cool. We've got uh, a Noctua fan at the back, that's 120mm. And I've blanked the two at the top off. So the airflow uh, goes from the front to the back rather than uh, the rear fan taking the air um, from above and not really cooling the PC it sort of forces the air through um, the big fan at the top and obviously you can see the graphics card it's quite a big one it's one of the Asus uh, Strix ones and it's a, um, an Asus tough motherboard and they actually the colours sort of match if you've got a few computers, I recommend you get in one of these. I got this from Amazon. It wasn't overly expensive and it does a good job of blowing the computer out. Um, saves you buying all them um, air cans and the air cans tend to um, give off sort of a bit of water vapour. Uh, and this is a lot better. fan in the back there well, I've got the two um, drives out of the boxes I'm just about to put them in the uh, in the drive cages um, we should just need to be able to pull these out they come out nicely so to go all like that basically so we got some screws at the bottom uh, which just go through them holes uh, there so let me just uh, put these together and slide them in don't need to use the anti-vibration mounts uh, these rubber things because um, 
these are for the mechanical drives where the hard drive spinning and you might get a bit of vibration these take the vibration out so we don't need that right so uh, the screws we're going to need to go into the hard drive they're actually um, going these holes here they're very very fine for the screws I've got the screws go into the little holes in the hard drive, the threads in the hard drive. So the holes in this are just clearance holes, which are slightly bigger diameter. Um, there's very similar screws though, so you need to be very, very careful which ones you pick. Uh, and what we're after is this, this style of screw. So it's actually got sort of a washer face, but it's got a very fine thread on it. Um, the thread's very fine at the end. You don't want the coarse one so there's actually one that's very very similar that I've got um, but the thread on this one's a lot coarser which is not what we want you can just see there the threads coarse on that one so you don't want the coarse one we want the ones with the washer faces on we want the ones with the washer faces on uh, that are fine threads right we've got the uh, the drives back in so there's the uh, original drive that was in there, the Samsung one and the Samsung one above. Uh, and now what I need to do is I need to plug them in from the other side. Right, I'm sort of hoping that the motherboard doesn't turn off these two bottom uh, connectors. So I've got, I've got just plug one cable into that bottom connector. I've got one next to it I'm going to use. Just hoping the motherboard doesn't turn them off because the other ones are behind the graphics card. I don't really want to have to take the graphics card out. Just a bit more hassle. So I'll try these two bottom sockets first. I probably should have checked in the bias first to make sure uh, they were working actually. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna plug that next one in and plug the data cable into the two drives. So on this particular connector, uh, power connector that was plugged into the bottom drive, it's actually got four uh, connectors on it. So we only need three, so there should be plenty. However, the end connector was in the bottom drive pointing down. So it was very difficult uh, with, with that orientation to get the next connector in. So I've just unplugged it. Um, so hopefully I can rearrange the cable and go in a different direction. Uh, and that will save me just using this one cable. Right, so I made a little change. Um, let's just take that cable out of the way a minute. With the um, power cable, uh, it's easy to Put a drive in, miss a drive, put a drive in, miss a drive, put a drive in. Then I've not got the cable um, so, so much bending out the back, it's more straight. So I think that's going to work a bit better. Okay, so we've got the drives in. Uh, and if you look now, I've got the top drive and the power cable is reasonably straight. And likewise, the power cable is reasonably straight. It might have even been better to take that bottom drive up one because the, uh, the cable's... Uh, a bit squashed in the bottom, but yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Not the best <laughs> cable job. Um, I've got some cables here for the fans and things. Originally, when I put the fans in, I did a really good job of tying all these back and making it all neat and tidy. But it seems like whenever I take the PC apart, the cables uh, tend to get a little bit worse each time. If, that, if that's uh, probably normal for most people, I think. Okay, so data cables are in, power cables are in. Um, it's ready to put the sides on, uh, plug it in and see if it works. So one of the first things you want to do when you made any uh, hardware changes is have a quick look in your bias to see what's going on. And it looks like it's not picking up my new drives at all. So it looks like it's picking up the DVD drive and the original drive that was in there. It's not picking up the two new ones. Now all I can assume is because I've got two NVMe drives, it's using all the bandwidth as it were and uh, it's not leaving anything left for the new drives so i'm going to have to try and find um, a setting i probably have to need we need to go down to two times on one of the drives i'm hoping that uh, i pick the right drive um, and not the one that the operating system's on so here it's telling me uh, i think it was five and six i plugged them into so five and six and it's saying here they're enabled, but it's not picking them up. So I need to try and find the right setting to adjust. Right, so I think it's here. Um, I'm basically going to have to slow one of these drives down, I think, if I want to keep all the other drives in there. Um, so I've got um, M.21 and M.22. Uh, I think it's where it says times four. I might need to change that. 
times 2. Right, so I'll put times 2 on it. I'm hoping that's now going to pick up my new drives and I'm hoping that the um, the second one here is not the one with the operating system on it. So let's uh, exit that, save the changes. So I've just enabled port 1 as well because it wasn't enabled. Let's try that. Yeah. So if you look there now, it's picked up the two drives. All I've done is turned off um, yeah, the, the times four times to times two times. And it's picked up then two extra drives now. So it was limiting the um, drives I can put on with the times four speed. I don't think it's going to make much difference that going from times four to times two on these particular drives. Uh, but I prefer it not to have the operating system on that particular drive. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not going to swap it around. Okay, so I've just done a performance test on the drives that's already in the computer and it does look like my C drive is the one that's been affected but the truth is it's not been affected too much so I don't think I'm going to change it, I think I'm going to leave it as it is. But I've just run this uh, performance test using Samsung Magician. Right, so the next thing we need to do is the drives, we can't see the drives on the system so if I double click my computer all I'm seeing is the original drives that were already there. So my C and D drives are um, the NVMe drives. The E drive is the storage drive that I had in there originally. I can't see my uh, new drives. So what we need to do is we need to go on, um, there's different ways of doing this, but you can right click on here. Um, and what we got, so let's go manage. Uh, and in here we've got disk management. Let's double click that. Right, so it's now uh, recognizing we've got two new um, disks on there and it's saying, what do you want to use? MBR, GPT. My understanding is MBR is sort of the old one for the original bias uh, of really old motherboards and the GPT uh, one can be used on the newer uh, motherboards with the uh, later uh, bias, if you like. Now we've got a setting here. So what we need to do is now, we can see the drives, we've got disk three and disk four. So now if I right click on here, and I just want a new simple volume, let's click next. I want to use all of the size, let's click next. It's gonna give it the next drive letter, and that's gonna be fine. Let's go next. Um, I'm gonna leave it on NTFS. And I'm going to leave the quick format on because it's a brand new drive. Finish. So now we've got a drive that should be working. Drive G. At the bottom one, do the same. New simple volume. Let's go on to uh, next. Leave it for the full size. It's going to give it the next drive letter. That's fine. And the file system NTFS. Finish. So now I've got all the drives on the system, and that's pretty much it. So now we should be able to see them. Uh, if I double click on my PC, we can see now that the drives have appeared here and it's new volume. I can actually rename this new volume to whatever I want, uh, but I'll probably do that later when I decide on what's gonna go on the drive. Okay guys, thanks for watching my video.